Hello and uh, welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson and I would love it if you would like and or comment and or subscribe and or share this video with people you think might enjoy this video. That would be lovely and I would thank you very much. So I would like to show you another ring chain. We could we could get bored with ring chains, and so in my next video, I will um, I will make you something other than a ring chain. But this ring chain is really fun. So this ring chain is made out of one little teeny tiny skinny. It's a quarter about a quarter of an inch strip. Um, did I cut these? Yes, I did. I cut these the short distance of a of a piece of cardstock. So, so this distance. And if you're using a four or even a twelve by twelve, although a twelve by twelve, you might want to cut in half so that it's um, six inches long. I think twelve inches would be too big a loop, even for a doubled loop like this. And um, you'd end up having elongated loops, which I personally don't find tremendously attractive. Um, so I cut a whole bunch of little skinny pieces of paper. And um, I cut them by eye, so these are not exact, and they still work. Um, so the trick with this kind of loop is that it's doubled. So we're going to make a, um, you know, put, put the, let's start at the beginning. We're going to wrap this loop around and then around again. And then we're going to glue it right there. So it's just a double wrapped loop. This is not a very complicated concept. Ta -da. And so you get, you can see this double wrapped loop. Oops, coming apart. Then we sit and we wait and we breathe and we let the god or goddess of our understanding come and chat with us and tell us happy things. And then you take, let's see, where's the end of this loop? This is red and we've got three reds in a row, so actually I would like to change things up a little bit. We get some purple in here. And because this loop isn't attached to anything and I want to attach it to this chain, I'm going to sort of put these two loops together. But normally you would just add one at a time. But let's do this. Let's do two. So I've gone through the center with my strip of paper once and then I'm going to come back and go through again so that we have a double loop. Let me glue this for us. So, that's the whole thing. There's a lot of breath time in here. I think when I made these with my kids, well, when my kids were really little um, and we would make stuff, often my kids were sitting in my lap. So when I was holding things to glue them and let the glue set a little bit, um, I would talk with my children and we would have little conversations about this and that and the other thing. Um, and, and so that 
breathing time. So just go through it again. So you start out like this and you circle back through. And then you bring those two ends to meet right there. Add a little glue. Not too much. It takes too long to set if you add too much, but enough so that it will actually come together. So yeah, it's, if you're doing this with somebody else, it's um, while we wait for the glue to set, it's a nice time to chat with your friend or just sit and be quiet. I'm not actually very good at that. Um, I know people who are and they astound me. How can you sit quietly for long periods of time? I don't know. Um, they can do it. Let's use this dark red. We'll put it next to, I don't know if you can tell in this light, but this is a light red and this is a darker red. So we go through once, bring it around, and bring these ends up to meet. And um, oh, I wanted to say, and I've done this, so this is why I'm saying this, um, make sure that when you go through these double loops of the previous link, make sure you go through both of these or else I'll show you in a sec. Um, uh, they sort of come apart. It's not as strong a chain as um, if you get them both. So if I went through just one, do you see I'm only going through not both loops, but just one loop. So if I then went through and I only caught this and I glued that, then when you pull the chain, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, you end up kind of pulling this link all askew. So just make sure that when you go through, you go through both loops of the previous link. <laughs> Sorry. And then you just keep doing that for a little while. And if you were ever wondering if you could ever sit down and meditate, try making paper chains. And I was listening to um, Jonathan, the one of the guys from the Netflix Queer Eye show, um, and he was explaining meditation. And he said, imagine your mind is just a river and you're sitting on the bank and you're just watching thoughts flow by. So if we meditate while we make a paper chain, this is a thought and I let it go on. And this is a yellow thought. And I move on. I just keep making the chain. No biggie. And we don't have to think about those thoughts. We don't, or well, we don't have to analyze them and have strong emotions about them. Just Watch them like, oh, that was that thought, and that was that thought, and add all those thoughts together, and we get a beautiful paper chain. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is four pieces of cardstock, and I'm nowhere near through I've still got lots and lots to go so let's say I might even be halfway through I've got 18 inches three feet <coughs> sorry four and a half feet 
So double that. And four pieces of cardstock could make you... I'm so sorry. <coughs> Nine feet... Oops. Of this pattern. And um, so if I only had one piece of cardstock, I could get about two feet of this chain. So there's 18 inches plus another six. So put those away. We would have about that much. That'd be fun, right? So a nine foot paper chain, sort of kind of around three meters, could get you most of the way up a doorway, across the top and down the other side. Well, about halfway down the other side. Um, yeah, so, so I wish you happy paper chain making. I wish you peaceful and enlightening the heart right in the middle. Um, meditations, whether you use paper chains to help you get there or not. And um, yeah, so I wish you peace and color and um, the knowledge of your thoughts. And me, the knowledge of my thoughts. And let's face it, lots of sparkly stuff. And I'll see you next time. Alrighty, bye.